In 1938, the Evian Conference in France convened to discuss the issue of Jewish refugees fleeing from Nazi persecution. Even though all 32 countries participating expressed sympathy for the refugees, hardly anyone was actually willing to grant them any life-saving shelter. As a result, millions of anxious Jews in Europe found it increasingly difficult to find any place of sanctuary. The gates of the so-called civilized world were closed. It is said this absence of compassion was tantamount to collusion. At this critical time in history, the Chinese, who were themselves suffering at the hands of Japanese imperialism, the Chinese opened their arms to the refugees with generosity and compassion. Over 18,000 homeless and destitute Jewish people finally found refuge in the distant land of China in the city of Shanghai. Despite all the hardship, they began new lives in this unfamiliar city with the support and help of the local Chinese people and Jewish organizations. Looking back at that terrible time in history, with all of the atrocities perpetrated against Jews and others, very few people extended sanctuary to the Jews, very few, but China did. What are your thoughts on that? If it wouldn't have been for China, we would not be here. Uh, there were 18,000 Jews escaped from Poland, Germany, Austria, Czechoslovakia, If it wasn't for the Chinese people, and especially the fellow that gave us a visa, we would have all perished, because some of the family that didn't go to China all perished. My dad did. I thought well, it's a miracle. Again, I look at it from perspective. It's like a miracle when you, we see in, in our history of the Jewish people when they were persecuted throughout the past four thousands of years, there was always one little niche where someone did something. Just fantastic. And uh, they, uh, obviously, those that were responsible for that, uh, my hat's off to them. I mean, that's a real humane main action. Saying I was a place to save our lives and made it possible for us to continue. And I will say that uh, as foreigners, we got along pretty good with the Chinese population. And, and I have to, and I am very thankful to the Chinese people because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here today. It's, it's a difficult issue. I know my dad was very upset with the U.S., you know, for not allowing more people to come in. Even in Shanghai, after two years, they weren't letting people in anymore. They, I guess they were full at that point, but I'm sure there was more room for them. Um, you know, there were not enough countries letting enough people in, I think, certainly, as we all think. Lots more people could have been saved if the borders were opened. Well, what's my thoughts about that? Well, I, I, I have to say that it was, it was fortunate that we were able to find a place. Because as, as an adult now, thinking about what happened at that time, um, gives me the impression that 
So I didn't understand why there was so much hatred toward Jews around the world. I think the people should know what we went through. I mean, I think there's so few left. So I'm 90 years old, you know, and I was uh, 18 when I got engaged. So I think it's important for people to know. I'm grateful for my life. I'm grateful for my family's life. Everything I ever wanted was family. I wear my necklace with my eight grandchildren on. I'm in the process of writing a book. I am incredibly grateful. I am unbelievably grateful for my life and for the life of my family. Because when I'm speaking, I have a picture of my whole family that was in Europe, and many, many of those people were killed. I would say the Chinese were friendly and hospitable. And as far as uh, I'm concerned, I thank them because that's the way we live. We didn't know anything about Europe until the war ended. And only then did we find out about the atrocities in Europe. The Axis did try and put the squeeze on the Japanese to get rid of 20,000 Jews. And you may have heard, they try to put us in boats and put us out to sea and both starve us and sink us. And there were rumors that they were building crematoria outside of the ghetto, but those were rumors. Well, my feeling is, and I believe I share that with most of the refugees, that we were extremely grateful for the hospitality, and that was really the last open gate for us to escape Nazism.